about to-do list management. Um, you know, I have been working for a number of years on how to map up um, paper and, and digital. <clears throat> and as you know, I used the Plum Papers journal, right? And this is last week's holiday dismal, not get any training done, but I just rested the heck out of things, which is awesome. So anyway, I wanted to just show you guys um, the app that I use for task management. And it's this one down here. It's to do, so it's a number two and do. When you open this up, <clears throat> so this one's on my iPad and I can sync it to my Mac and my iPhone. And I'll show you that here in a second. But um, this is a nice app and they keep it fairly well updated. Um, you have multiple lists that you can create. So I have a number of them you can take them out. I have personal parking lot is stuff, thoughts that I have that um, I want to put on the back burner. You can turn these off and on. Um, so if you add some things, you can hide them. You add a, add a list here, etc. Okay. What you see can change all of your stuff. Today's you can prioritize and make starred scheduled, and then you can see your done stuff. Um, a lot of different things that you can do as far as what you see if you get overwhelmed with seeing things on a day-to-day -day basis. So like if I did starred, here's the only things that are there on my starred stuff. Okay, here's today, um, stuff like that, lots of overdue. Anyway, um, okay. And then by swiping down, it's syncing stuff and then it shows you different, different things. How to add is pretty easy. whatever, um, which list you put it on, I don't know, All right? You can add tags to it, you can put a time to it, and then down here, you can pick a different day, you can set an alarm, you can create an alarm, um, you can make it reoccurring. This is one of the things that I really like. So if you had something that you wanted to implement, like um, nine o'clock journal time, you could put that as weekly, and then it would go off. It, you could set it to go off at nine or right before. You can add things to it. Um, as far as actions, you can add where, um, and you can add notes to it if you wanted to, or um, a photo. So this will be one of the things that um, I use to, I'm gonna write a book for my dog. And so I'm gonna add a to-do item and it's gonna be daily journal. This is how I'm gonna capture the thoughts through a journal, daily journal. Julie, um, and then I'm gonna start it tomorrow at noon and I'm gonna have it be daily. And I can go through here and add photos and stuff like that. And that's not, I'm gonna put it under the book. Okay, the other thing that you can do with this it's pretty cool is um, you can add a checklist I think somewhere around here so here's a checklist so Julie's book All right um, you can add a note in here book to write down, capture the beautiful and raw story of a rescue dog and her mama on, heal on healing heart wounds. OK. 
okay? So you could add that and see you can print and do all kinds of stuff here. And so I'm gonna add that note and then, gosh, we'll just put Wednesday since I'm stumbling and then go to book, find it. Okay, and then so I'm gonna add stuff to her, see Julie's book, and so a task would be find all her pictures. I've done this item twice and I haven't put it anywhere. Put in folder on Mac for the love of all, of all your 28,000 pictures on your phone. Namaste, BK. Okay, so there's that. Um, <clears throat> day, oops, I need to do a, a daily journal habit. I need to figure out how I'm going to tell her story. I need to do a brainstorming session. I need, um, I want some feedback from someone. I'm not sure quite who yet. That person will show up. Um, and then on that brainstorming activity, on here notes, on this brainstorming. So, what do I want to say? What is the point? What do I want readers to come away with? Funny, not funny. Fundraiser for nonprofit GY6. Okay. So that's all. So that's um, a task, uh, a list of tasks. So, like project management that you can do in there as well. Okay. So, back to this. Um, it'll have you do back um, <clears throat> overdue items, which this is probably my number one thing. Um, I get kind of really bogged down with that. The downfall of this, in my opinion, <clears throat> is that you have a hard time seeing what the weight or how much um, how much stuff you're putting in one day. It's hard to see on here. Um, <clears throat> anyway, so so there's that. It syncs up to the phone. And how you do that <clears throat> is a number of different ways. You can upgrade, and I've done that just because I use it for business stuff and, and all that. But And you can figure out how to email yourself to do items or whatnot. But this, oops, not that. This sync is fun. <clears throat> and there's a number of ways to sync. So if we go to that, you can sync through this um, toodle do activity, or you can, oops. You can sync a number of different ways. I use this <clears throat> to doodle. <clears throat> Partly I'm using that because it's pretty easy to get on my Mac and add stuff that way and it just syncs it over to here. Um, so I sit at my desk and I will look at this stuff. <clears throat> yeah, I got a ticket. Check it out. Not a speeding ticket. It's funny, funny, funny story. Not funny. It is a funny story. Um, fix it ticket. <laughs> um, so, you know, I sit here at my desk and I, you know, work on that and I make notes and, you know, I, hmm. Come here guys. Hey, come here. Stop. Oh my gosh. Anyway, sorry. This to do, I, to doodle. So this is to doodle. This is Derek, so you guys don't get inundated with my big thing. Um, to, to doodle right here. Okay. Um, I'll put this in the notes. Anyway, it is a way to sync up. It's pretty easy to create an account. It follows the same idea of folders right here. Um, start dates and whatnot, and you can see it here as well. 
Um, and then he just has a couple of things in his. You don't even need to function off of this website. Here's where it is. To doodle do. Um, and add a task and all that stuff. You don't even need to touch this. This can just be a syncing place for all of your things between your iPhone and iPad and stuff like that. Okay, so you don't have to go in here and use anything. It's just the what I use to sync between my, basically my iPhone and my iPad um, on the, this app, right? This little cute check marky thingy, okay? So that's what I wanted to show you. Um, you can share your to-do items with other people, but I have found that it's not all that great and fun and user-friendly. Um, like if I were to share this call ticket with Derek, it would give him a link. It wouldn't get into his, his to-do app and look like this, it would look something different. So we didn't really appreciate that, but you can do that. Um, and you can export it to email and all kinds of stuff. There's all sorts of stuff that you can do with these. So down here, I clicked this button. It's like batch editing. Um, and you can click a task and down here is where you add your priorities. So like Monday motivation, that's a medium priority item. So there we go. We went and prioritized that. Um, share, move. Like if you have something, call ticket. I don't know which list it's on, but it could be put on personal because yeah, that's where it belongs. Um, that's a lot of different things. You can delete tasks. You can change dates collectively for everything. Um, add tags to things so you can search so fairly good, and here's the search thing. So if you had lost something like book, I searched for book, there's Julie's book. Cause sometimes you'll add stuff in there and you won't put a uh, date on it and then it'll sort of lose it because you'll forget that it's in your undated and it'll be clear down at the bottom. So anyway, that is the app two, the number two do really nice app. Um, it's a nice way you can just like anything you need to practice it and add to it and stuff like that. So let me know if you have any questions. Hope you're having a great day. Namaste. Mm -hmm.